This is a simple story about the history of software. We will travel along a timeline, we will stop at the big steps along the way, we will see how one idea led to the next. This journey is not just about technology, it is about people solving problems. Each step we discuss was a small revolution. It opened new doors for what was possible. It allowed the next generation of builders to stand on the shoulders of giants. Our tour will begin in the early days of computing. Long ago people used mechanical machines to do math, gears, wires, switches, these machines filled entire rooms and consumed vast amounts of power. Giving them instructions was a slow, physical process. Programmers, often women, would rewire panels and flip switches for a single calculation. A big early idea was the punch card, a stiff piece of paper holding information as a pattern of holes, hole present, hole absent, data and instructions. Operators fed stacks into readers. The machine detected holes and executed commands one by one, an early way to give a sequence of instructions. Programs could be saved, shared, and reused, though slow and error-prone. Next came the stored program computer. Pioneers like Alan Turing and John von Neumann put the instructions inside the computer's own memory. The same memory that held data now held code. A program became just another form of data, a revolutionary shift in thinking. Computers could run a program and modify it. They became far more powerful and flexible, universal machines, not just fast calculators. This principle remains the foundation of almost every computer since. It clearly separated hardware from software. A ghost in the shell. With stored programs, computers were ready for a new language, how to speak to the machine. With stored programs, computers became more capable, but programmers still wrote in machine code, long strings of ones and zeros. Hello world, binary. Hello world, assembly. Hello world, Python. Assembly used mnemonics that an assembler translated to machine code. Easier, but still low level and tied to registers and addresses. High level languages were the leap. Fortran helped scientists write math. COBOL brought readable programs to business. Abstraction let programmers focus on problems. Compilers made code portable across machines. This shift turned software development into a true engineering discipline. As programs grew, another layer became essential, the operating system. From raw bits to human-like code, abstraction kept climbing. Early computers ran one program at a time. The CPU often sat idle waiting for slow I.O. The solution was the operating system, a manager for CPU, memory, storage and devices providing a stable platform for applications. Multitasking rapidly switched the CPU among programs, making work feel simultaneous and boosting efficiency. Time sharing extended the idea to multiple users, making computing accessible to universities, labs, 